So let's talk about the correctness of merging procedure. So when we want to talk about the correctness, we, we use the method that we've discussed in class. So we talk about invariant. invariant. Okay. So in, an invariant is a condition that remains true throughout the execution of the, the loop. And uh, wh what I mean by remains true is that it has to be true. So where where is the loop? So the loop is this one for loop. Okay. So we want the invariant to be true at this point. Okay. And not only that, we want we want three things when we talk about invariant. Okay. Do you remember what we did last time? Okay. What we want is is three uh, We want to prove three proper properties. One is the initialization. Initialization. Second one is maintenance. Maintenance. And the last one is termination. Okay, initialization is something uh, is that we want to show that in the first round, the invariant is true. Okay, in the first round, this is true, and maintenance is is usually the the most difficult thing is is maintenance. Maintenance say that if it's true at the beginning of the the loop, one at the beginning of one of the iteration, it should be true in the next iteration as well. Okay. And termination will use this maintenance property to show that in the end you get you get what you want. Okay. Now okay, to do that we have to uh, think a little bit about what what we want from the, the algorithms. And and the invariant should capture that. Okay. So so basically when, when we talk about maintenance, this should uh, somehow represent or you know it's a way that we talk about how the algorithm make progress okay so if you look at this this case in in when we merge two arrays we want what do we want we want that for each row k okay so this is the next row okay i i j and k but what we want from from after what each row ends is that the first so this is the kth element, but before we start the kth round, we want everything else in the beginning, okay, in front of k to be correct, okay, because we keep increasing k and 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 if everything before k is is in the right place, we n we know that at when we reach here, everything will be correct, okay. So what we want from the invariant is is something like this. So the invariant that we want, so we want many things from it, but first of all, we want the first, the first, uh, okay, C, 1, 2, up to K minus 1, okay, the first K minus 1 guy in C are the smallest elements in both A and B. Okay. Uh, the so how many of the that are the k minus one smallest elements? Okay. What else do we want? The algorithm will run correctly if uh, we we need we need to talk a little bit about uh, i and j, right? need to talk about i and j as well okay because i and j we will but if you want to say that k is correct that is it gets the right guy so i and j should be we, sh we should be able to to talk about i and j because invariant is not just for saying that we are good before each iteration but it's we will use it to s we to say that Hey, uh, yeah, we we still good after uh, after the iteration is done. 
So we want to be able to sh to say that uh, i and j would bring the right value value to k. Okay. So what what does it bring? So i and j. So we're gonna either copy i a i or b b j to the kth place. Okay. So if so, which one? Uh, which one? Uh, what what are the properties of i and j that we want? So basically, um, if you look at that, uh, we want to be able to say uh, the. So we want this. We want the, the this this statement, right? So we want the a, either a i or b j to be the smallest kth element. Okay. So in the next round, k will be k plus one, right? So we want. So what we want is that a i and a j will be the s smallest in this what remains in the array okay so we want uh, ai to be smallest element in a not copy, which has not been copied to c also we want the same thing to be for b right to be Smallest in the not copy to C. All right. So if we have this, uh, this three combined will be our invariant. Okay. So we so with that we're gonna show the three uh, uh, properties. Okay, so this is our invariant. So we want to show uh, initialization. Initialization is easy. Okay, so if you look at the code, uh, the code you can see that since in the first round k is uh, sorry, so in the first round k k is. Uh, uh, s one and so the first uh, k minus one elements uh, contains uh, basically nothing. So so this is true, and i is one and j is one and and since a and b are sorted, so uh, a a one and b b one is the smallest element and nothing has been copied to c. So initialization is easy. So we done. Okay, so now let's prove the maintenance. For the maintenance, what do we need to show? Okay, so what we have so far is that. So let's see the assumption first. We can assume that the invariant is true in in the k iteration. Okay, so this is array A. This is B. And this is I, this is J, and this is C, and this is K. And we, uh, we know that these are the smallest K, K minus 1 elements. Okay, and I is the smallest in here, and, and J R is the smallest. Of the guy not not copy in into this array, and and this part of the array has been copied. Okay, so this is what the invariant tells us, and what we want, okay, in for the invariant to be true in the next row is that, whatever happens, okay, k will be moved to here, right, and and and. And this uh, k guys will be the smallest guys among everything in in array A and B. And also, we want if I either I move or J move, but one one if one of them move, the next uh, element that it A I either A I and and it B J will be the smallest among the element not being copied to to C. Okay. So so why why is this true? Okay. Since a i and a j are the smallest among 
among everything not have be having been copied to see if I the algorithms if you look at the algorithms the algorithm just compare them and, and copy the smaller one to see okay so since uh, okay so we, we're going to use this property and that one since AI is smallest among this and BI is the smallest among this uh, and and the, the array are sorted right so if we pick the smaller one okay suppose we pick a AI if we pick the smaller one and copy it here it will be smallest among the rest of the stuff not being copied to array A so we know that the smaller of AI and BJ will be the case smallest okay and then we copy it to here so we know that um, the first uh, C1 up to K will be will contain contain this in sorted order sorted oh so, sorry in has to be sorted as well so I missed this in the invariant okay um, not just not just that they are smallest but they has to be sorted as well sorry okay now uh, what else we need to show so we done with the per first part for the next invariant for the next loop and however if I pick there are two cases okay there are two cases here can be this cases or that one this cases so if I if AI is smaller then I would move uh, I would change the index I so if AI, AI is smaller I would change the index I to here this is copy copy so since array A is, is sorted I can I can be sure that AI will be the smallest among everything not being copied to array C okay and the other case when when uh, BJ has been uh, is copied to C is the same. Okay, so with this I can show that the maintenance remains uh, the the invariant uh, the, the maintenance properties of the invariant remains uh, is true. Okay, so now uh, if you look at this, we want to show so the last step is to show that um, the algorithm runs correctly so we want to show termination okay, so we want to show termination but if you look carefully in the invariant so last last step when k equals n1 plus n2 in the last step if the invariant is true if the, if we have maintenance if we have maintenance right in the last step, last step. this implies that C1 up to K right so that K is N1 plus N2 are the N1 plus N2 smallest of A and B in sorted order. Okay, but from that, this is exactly what we want, right? So this is the what we want. This is the correctness of the algorithm. Okay, you you merge correctly if if uh, the resulting arrays contains everything right in one plus n2 smallest elements of this two arrays because you have in one plus n2 elements so the smallest of of this will be the all element and in it is in sorted order so so we're done okay so we're done so the merge procedure is correct now we in the next clip we will talk about the running time